Okay, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick walk around here and show everyone kind of what we've been up to lately. Uh, the sun is down. Hopefully the light stays good for a minute, but I'll just step up on this old rust bucket for a second. Uh, so, we've got uh, our cover crop is quite mature. Uh, we've got some seeds starting to set on the grasses. I believe it's rye. Uh, Boro is getting excited. Um, okay, so we've started uh, putting a fence in thanks to Juan. We're so grateful for Juan's work. Um, and just him as a person, super rad. Um, yeah. The chicken coop has been just being, it, it's being fed compost all the time from the local grocer that throws away all their old food. A lot of it we eat. Um, it's really incredible what, what they throw away. You know, I highly suggest you go to your local uh, grocery store and just say, hey, uh, I've got a little farm, I'm starting to grow soil. I would recommend having some land to be able to compost it. Uh, <laughs> by the way, this is absolutely not the best manifestation of this, so I don't really want to highlight it, but uh, it's just worth saying that um, that's, that's not ultimately what we're going to be doing with that food uh, slash fuel. It's going to be used in a biodigester. Uh, it's going to be used with probably chickens and it's going to be used uh, definitely as legit compost. So this is uh, what we're calling bed number three. Uh, bed number three basically is going to be for annual crops. Um, we're going to build four or five beds in here. Moving along, moving along. Moving along the fence. Okay, um, what else, man? Well, I'll just show all this just for the sake of showing it. Oh, Leo's back. Okay. A fig tree, <laughs> mango, look at that, avo, that should probably get covered tonight, it's going to get real cold, uh, it, it's going to freeze tonight, 31 degrees, alright, all right. okay, time to harvest that. Um, mushrooms, 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 shiitake mushrooms. Insulated, covered up underneath. I just mulched this area and in this area a little bit more. Leo had done quite a bit of mulching the other day. Oh, the world is just so much nicer with mulch. It's a little spot. I mean, really, the idea is to just cover the earth. Just cover it. It just rained today for a few hours, so it was nice. The intention here, this is a walnut, first of all, and the intention with this is, for me at least, is to cut that back to just one liter, mulch up around it, and, and build a bed off of it, kind of like this. 
This isn't set in stone, obviously. And have gardens throughout here. Um, I'll walk around the rest of the property and do my house separately. I've been slowly chipping away at this little section. I've got a bunch of grass since the last video. A lot of growth, a lot of growth. It's really nice. Really, really nice. So this is bed two and three. Uh, that's a greenhouse um, that our buddy Johnny found and picked up for us on Craigslist, I think. See? So nice. See the moon up there? Oh. Almost full. Yep, so this is going really well. This cover crop isn't as far along as the crop on the other side. Trim, wood. Yeah, so this is going really nice. I'm really happy about this fence. Strong. So, yeah, that's about it as far as uh, permaculture y stuff. And all the wood sales have been going really well. We just got three, we have three orders uh, in the next few weeks. A lot of wood, a lot of wood, a lot of wood, a lot of wood. It's a lot full of wood. So, yeah, I plan to just ship out some of the eight inch. That looks like a nice pile there. I don't have as much as I'd thought and hoped. This is a nice one. Let me send that out. So that's about it. Like I said, catch you later.